first time in days I slept. I dreamt of afternoons in the forest. Beautiful. Remember our language people? My name is Helen Calcutt. I am artistic director of an emerging new dance theatre company called Beyond Words and I am the director and choreographer for this R&D into a dance adaptation of Grief is a Thing with Feathers by Max Porter. I think I chose this text because it speaks to me as both a dancer and a poet and that's all down to its fluidity. There's a lot of internal movement, the text and language all speaks to me internally as a writer but then the text also speaks to me as a dancer. The way it moves on the page, the way it's quite sporadic and soft and then non-soft. It's just so malleable and because it speaks to both sides of me it seemed to be the perfect choice for this sort of project. So the process has been hugely insightful and very, very collaborative. I've been working with four wonderful dance artists over about five weeks. I would say that it's been quite a eye-opener into my kind of superpowers as a choreographer and director. Like I know I can choreograph movement, I know that I can bring people together in dance, but I wasn't sure if I could direct something and actually take that role and assume that role. And it's been really useful for me to find my feet there. And it's just been playful and fun. Like I've had this little movement language uh, that I've been keeping to myself for a few years um, it, with, in relation to kind of using text and using poetry as a mover. And now I've been able to see it on other bodies and trust those bodies um, and they've executed it beautifully. So it's been a wonderful process actually. This has been a research process uh, into Helen exploring the synergies between her movement and creative writing practices, uh, really looking at taking it to a next step where it doesn't just become uh, the dance mimicking the text, but actually becomes an active translation of it where the two actually enter a dialogue with each other. The story needs so much more time with the dancers and the dancers need more time with the story. and. The process, the translation process is very intense, it's very physical but it's also very kind of brainy, like both have to be switched on. You need a long time to get into the text to find your own unique language as a dancer because this, this is also about the dancers finding their language, their body language in relation to what they've read. I think the most challenging thing is, for me has been accommodating what's needed to make this particular uh, stage successful, which we've done, and also realising, yeah, I don't have to rush, we've got more time. It's been really great working with Max Porter's book. I, I know the dancers and Helen have really connected uh, well with the material and we're really excited to kind of see where the next steps take us uh, in this journey. I know Helen's been really excited to explore what it means to work with different community groups and how they can turn their own text into movement as well and that's something we've also been exploring. We had a little workshop with Max Porter and he talked about the boys in particular, the, those characters in the book being a symbol of the one consciousness of humanity and I think if anything what I'd love the audience to take away is that that idea of the collaborative like these four dancers and the musician Job coming together to as individual characters and in their own right but they're also moving as one they're telling a story as one it's one pulse and I think that's the main thing I'd like the audience to take away with them.